So the fifth chapter of the Boruto timeskip just dropped. And to say that Kijimoto and Ikimoto have cooked would be an understatement. What we have seen them do in this chapter is absolutely peak. This is a different level of writing that we see in this chapter. I loved the writing. Everything about this chapter was just a simply a 10 out of 10. I'm going to start off right off the bat and say that this chapter is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. And this is the type of consistency that we have been getting month after month. I know we all hate the monthly schedule, but we can not say that when we read the chapter, it is not absolute peak last chapter i said that the other chapter was my favorite and this chapter i'm saying that this is my favorite this has been consistently happening chapter after chapter every time i read a chapter i say that it is my favorite and this is again the case with this new chapter that has come out so the cover for this chapter is sasuke and the cover to me is not my favorite cover this is the only part of the chapter that is not my favorite but it is definitely a top tier cover this cover has slowly started to grow on me i really like the background that ikimoto has been releasing with these time skip covers sometimes the character himself is not in his most glorious form but the backgrounds never disappoint so the title of this chapter is Target. We see Sasuke as the cover with some bluish backgrounds and we see some type of starish bluish patterns on the Boruto Tubu Vortex sign. The side text is even while doubting himself what he believes is dot dot dot. And this chapter simply lives off to Sasuke going crazy because what Sasuke ends up doing in this chapter is something that reminds me of what Minato did before he actually ended up passing. But we'll discuss this when the moment actually ends up coming. As we go back into the past and we have a flashback of Boruto and Sasuke and we see Boruto training and learning how to use his sword. It seems like Sasuke has been training for a while now as we see different haystacks and Boruto with his own sword. We have Sasuke who tells him, all right, let's end it here. Let's rest for a bit. But Boruto seems to want to continue going as he feels like he can still keep on going. I really like some of the panels here. This is quite reminiscent to what we saw Sasuke do in his time skip. And Boruto and Sasuke have had a bunch of parallels. Their time skip has been so similar that they literally look the same. You can't tell me that Boruto literally doesn't look like an Uchiha. Sasuke and Boruto have similar cloaks, similar similar sword and now they even have a similar hairstyle they really want to accentuate the fact that boruto really wants to be just like sasuke as sasuke is his role model so this makes a lot of sense and it also makes sense for boruto to have longer hair since he has been away from the village and not getting his regular trims day by day in addition i have heard a lot of people complain saying that sasuke didn't get a new design but i didn't expect sasuke to get some sort of new design there is no real point in sasuke getting some new design so I'm personally fine with the, the same design that we have seen throughout the whole Boruto series. And then we go to the same page that was leaked by the official account of Naruto and Boruto. Where we have Boruto who is talking to Sasuke and says, Sasuke, no, I mean master. How is my Uchiha style? Don't you think I'm already mastering it? And we are seeing that Boruto is learning some of the Uchiha's abilities. This is what it is literally saying. At first, I used to think that it only meant that Boruto was dressing the same way as maybe an Uchiha would or Sasuke Uchiha. And that was what they were referring to. But that doesn't seem to be the only thing that they're referring to. They are also referring to the techniques that Boruto has awakened. So this also means that Boruto has awakened some Uchiha style abilities that we will probably end up seeing later on in the fights to come. As we have have Sasuke who says, yeah, in a year, I think I was able to teach you most of my techniques and styles. And Boruto's like, hold on, I, I want more. I want to get more jutsus. I want to learn more. And he says, hold on, master, you have to be joking. I was just a little cocky to say it. Train me more from now on too. Boruto clearly seems to be learning Sasuke's abilities at a quick pace. This could either be because he is simply a genius, as we have seen over and over again, as he literally mastered the Rasengan even faster than Naruto himself. Or it could also be that he is an Otsutsuki and is able to pick up and acquire these skills a lot easier due to the thousands of years of experience he must have or just the Otsutsuki genetics he possesses. But then Sasuke says, do you think I am joking? And I love to see these type of interactions between Boruto and Sasuke. We can definitely see them developing their bond. I love seeing Sasuke and Boruto the back and forth as we don't always see that as Sasuke is always away from the village. And then we have Boruto who responds by saying, it does 
doesn't look like it, but thinking back, I never really heard a joke from you. And this is kind of true. Sasuke is ever since Sasuke ever since he went on his revenge arc and Naruto has to save him, he wasn't really the type to joke around. But Sasuke never has been the type of person to go around joking around saying this, this, and that. He's always been that calm, serious, mystique person, mysterious, and all of that. He's not really been the joking type that Naruto seems to be, and Boruto definitely is. Boruto is very sarcastic. And Sasuke says, you got good talent, and you are, in general, very quick at learning things. A genius. Sasuke literally calls Boruto a genius, and this definitely has to be the reason why Boruto has been able to pick up and learn these various ninjutsus and learn these various Uchiha styles that Sasuke has taught him very early on. And this has only taken Boruto a year to fully master and potentially just surpass Sasuke in his base. But I won't be saying that, I won't be going too far and saying that Boruto surpassed Sasuke in base just yet. But well, let's just enjoy, let's just enjoy, let's forget about the power scaling, let's just enjoy what is going on right here and Sasuke says you got everything in mind right so I basically have nothing else I can teach you and we have Boruto who's kind of confused he doesn't want this to stop he wants to continue going on with Sasuke and learning more ninjutsu he loves just being around Sasuke but Sasuke just says don't misunderstand me it doesn't mean your training is over you have to keep on going sophisticating yourself mentally and your techniques it all depends on you now how much can you master from what I have taught and be just like Naruto. This is definitely the case and this is just confirming that, that Boruto really seems to have gotten to the tier that is on Sasuke's level or even surpassing Sasuke because Sasuke himself acknowledges that Boruto, he can't really teach him too much. Sasuke, Sasuke acknowledges that he can't really teach Boruto too much and from now on he will have to be the one to pick up on the key things that Sasuke has taught him and continue using that to continue improving as not only a ninja but a fighter in general and this is where we have Boruto who learns a bit about Sasuke's past and Naruto's past in general as in the next page we have Sasuke who talks about what Naruto did for him he says the guy who corrected me when I stepped onto the wrong path you have eyes just like him about who you are doesn't really matter right now I think I get why Sarada told me to save you something is happening something that can only be solved from you and Sarada and that's what my feeling is telling me that's why I have trained you this is very important and I know a lot of these words probably ran by a lot of the various fans the casuals but us who know that there's a lot of deep writing in this manga we know that this is foreshadowing something that Boruto and Sarada will be the only ones to be able to prevent it is not by mistake that Sarada is immune by the omnipotent. All of this is happening for a reason. Maybe this is destiny. Maybe this is Boruto's path that he has to go through. Maybe this has already been pre-aligned, but there is something that Boruto and Sarada will end up doing together that will bring peace or either change the future in general. But I will personally make a video discussing this whole idea of both Boruto and Sarada being the people who could potentially change the future and the calamities to come as in the next few pages the moment that we all dreaded the moment that we just didn't want to see the moment that we didn't want to believe sasuke's confrontation with code as we literally see sasuke code and boruto we have code who says who says damn uchiha how dare you get my eye this basically confirms that the person who actually gave Code his scar was not Boruto but Sasuke and the way that we are seeing Sasuke being handled right now before he gets turned into a tree, I am absolutely loving it. As Sasuke, a bit like how Toriyama did for the future generation, he is telling Boruto to run away. He says, Boruto, what are you doing? Hurry up and run. And Boruto replies by saying, I can't leave you my master, what are you saying? Boruto doesn't want to leave Sasuke and him end up dying or potentially being turned into a tree. But what we are seeing right now is Sasuke going out as a champ, as literally Sasuke gears up and is saying that they can't win against this guy. So all he can do right now is run, no matter what survive what you have to do is survive this is the same words that boruto told sarada the same words that sasuke once told him he has to survive as that is all they can do for the moment until they find a way to change the future no matter what survive sasuke also adds by saying master every aspect that i have taught in you if you do so there is no one that should be able to stand against you i leave sarada to you Porto. 
this is absolutely crazy and these words they hit home and when this gets animated i might even cry knowing knowing what happened i might even cry because my boy sasuke is about to get packed but before he gets packed just like we have seen being done by previous Hokages, he is leaving something future generation the will of fire the will to never give up to survive and continue going forward this is what sasuke is passing on to boruto similarly to what tobirama did with Hiruzen as he gave up his life to allow the future generation to go on and survive so that they could potentially end up dealing with this threat. This is what I mean by this being similar to what Minato did in the future as he knew that he was not going to be able to defeat the guy who he believed to be Madara but was actually Obito. So what did he do? He entrusted everything to the future generation and gave Naruto the tools with the Nine Tails to be able to defeat this new threat. Sasuke did the same by teaching Boruto all of his ninjutsu, everything that he has learned as he believes that Boruto is going to be the one alongside his daughter Sarda to stand up against these future threats and prevent the planet from being doomed. This is what Sasuke did and this is a move that is so ninja like, that is so Sasuke like. As we see that Sasuke rushes in alone knowing that he will probably not be able to be code by himself and the dozen of claw grinds that are surrounding him but yet he continues to push on forward because this is what he has to do to protect the future generation this is absolutely peak man and just watching this and even talking about this it just gives me so many naruto vibes and anybody who tells me that kijimoto oh he's not writing boruto you can literally see the similarities between naruto and boruto right now we can literally see it in the writing all of this is to perfection i really enjoy this what a way for sasuke the person who once left the village in search of power now is the one giving his life away for the future generation to be able to defeat these future threats and sasuke did not go out without a fight as we see multiple programs being destroyed cold with a scar but sasuke has been turned into a tree and this definitely must have hurt boruto but he has to keep moving forward and Sasuke wouldn't want him to be depressed. He would want Boruto to keep pushing on forward and cut despair with the sword that he has been given. As this is literally what Boruto says himself. As he says, leave it to me Sasuke, no master. I don't know why he keeps saying no master. I don't know if this is a repetition over and over and over again. I don't know exactly why. Maybe when we read on more and more, we'll find out more regarding the flashback and everything. But we have Boruto who has his resolve. Just like what Sasuke and Boruto once said, they have attained their resolve and using their resolve, they were able to draw out power and be able to contend with the threats that threaten this world. And this is exactly what Boruto has done as Boruto is absolutely different and he is a man on a mission and is ready to do what he needs to protect this planet. We end up going back to the leaf where we have Konohamu who sees everything that is happening right now. He sees that Moregi has been turned into a tree and this is what happens. We literally see that she was saving a mother and a child but it was too late from what they heard and then Moregi turned into a tree. We have team 10 who are reacting to this and say I won't forgive them code and his claw grimes it is obvious now to everybody is that one claw gram that looks like a clown it is literally obvious as we even see them mirroring each other making it quite clear that she is moegi and she comes from moegi's chakra and probably possesses moegi's chakra signal and now we go back to the new code villains this is actually a villain group we see the ishiki slash jigen like clone sitting ominously on a cube we see this is their hideout i'm really liking the hideout we i don't know if these like some divine tree fragments or something like that but it is looking dope i really like the way this looks and the dialogue is pretty interesting and i will be making a future video just dissecting this but we have some pretty interesting dialogue regarding what they want to do next as they have developed their own consciousness as they say that board twin kawaki the purpose of eating them as an otsutsuki and evolving doesn't change regarding that right now they have to declare one thing which is who exactly they will be going against 
as we literally see that they have now started to develop their own consciousness and their own sense of individuality as each of them has now been assigned their name. We have the leader who is called Jura and I'm probably saying all of these names incorrectly so just let it slide, just let it slide. And the one that looks like Sasuke is called Hidarari and the one that took on Noegi's form is called Matsuri but we end up finding out that all of them have given each other some sort of name. But what is very interesting, and Naruto simply can't catch a break, because the one that looks like Jigen, the one that is called Jura, he literally says that I feel the instinct to go and eat Uzumaki Naruto. Uzumaki Naruto? What is he talking about? Naruto has been sealed, so this is very interesting to me. We literally see the panel of him chilling, sitting down on the cubes, and the cubes have some interesting patterns. The only people who have seen the cubes from is from Ishiki. That's the only person who have seen the cubes from, so it's very interesting that he possesses this ability. So it basically confirms that, is that he's either a clone of Jigen or is somehow a clone of Ishiki. However, there also is some important piece of dialogue that may mean that this is not actually a clone of Jigen but a clone of somebody else because if you pay attention to everybody else you would see that the person who the Moegi clone wants to eat is Konohamaru okay that's cool the person who the Sasuke clone wants to eat is Sarada okay and the person that the bug clone wants to eat is Ida from these three we can make a hypothesis and say that all of these are linked to love bug fell in love with Ayla due to the enchantment. The Sasuke clone definitely has some sort of love feelings when it comes to his daughter Sarada because Sasuke loves and, and followed Sarada's wishes. Moegi probably had a crush on Konohamu or they were probably dating, I don't know and I don't care because it's Konohamu. So why does that clone that looks like Jigen so interested in Naruto? Because I don't think Jigen or Ishiki love Naruto on that type of level. And the only person who now a lot of the community may think he actually is, is Gara, due to the love that Gara possesses for Naruto. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Maybe when we sit down and have more chapters, we'll actually end up finding out this guy's identity. But for the moment, it is very interesting because we simply just don't know what he is. But what we know right now is that these guys are following their instinct and their instinct is linked to their targets and their target all seems to be connected by love to me at least. In addition, there is a very interesting panel to me that ends up happening where we see the bug clone look Ida in the eyes and is literally able to see that Ida is watching their conversation. I don't know why this is the case or why they have this ability, but this is also very interesting to me. Damon is also shocked and we see some very cool panels right here. Ikimoto definitely snapped when it comes to the artist chapter and he has been going crazy this entire time skip. There is no bad panel in my opinion. He has been absolutely cooking. And we also have Amado, everybody's favorite scientist, Amado, the one who maybe planned everything else. We finally see him. Everybody missed Big Daddy Amado. I'm sorry, I just had to say it. I'll probably regret saying this later on. What is very interesting is just like Sasuke, Amado is another person who has broken out from the omnipotence due to simple logic. And this is very interesting to me. I don't know if you guys think Amado is lying or not, but the simple logic that he proposes is a very concrete argument in my opinion. Amado believed that he implanted the data from his daughter to Boruto. However, Kawaki is the one who has that data when they look at the karma, which is very interesting. But Sumire doesn't understand why he is not doubting everything. And Sarada believes that this is similar to what happened with Sasuke. But I simply don't buy it. I simply don't buy it. I simply can't trust a model. There's something about it. There's always been something about a model that I just can't trust. And he is on constant surveillance, which does make sense. And there's also factors like Sumire and Sarda saying over and over that there has been some sort of change talking about the omnipotence. So maybe a model was convinced because he is a scientist and is a logical being. But you know that we will always believe that a model has planned everything out. This is what we will always Always believe and I will stand on it maybe it will happen maybe it will not but Amado I still believe that there's something about him that we just don't know about then during their discussions we not only see an amazing panel by Ikimoto an amazing background I really love this background right here but we also see Boruto 
Boruto who comes back to the village and finally meets with Sarada. Sarada runs immediately to a Boruto who is smiling. Sarada who goes and hugs Boruto. This is definitely one of these moments, you feel me, that is gonna be top 10 Sarada and Boruto moments on YouTube. You'll just have to look it up when it gets animated. And it was definitely some type of moment. I don't really care, I'm not really on, into that lovey-dovey stuff, but it is cool. It's a cool moment to see Sarada and Boruto finally reunite especially with everything that both of them have been going through it's really it really was like this really is an amazing chapter man like like it, it just gave me so many naruto vibes so many peak kijimoto writing like it gave me butterflies in my stomach and i haven't had those for years i haven't had that in a minute and like i really feel like the direction that the manga is taking is to perfection but with this chapter they have absolutely cooked i am lost for words i am really enjoying everything that they did in this chapter this chapter is absolutely peak this chapter is absolutely absolutely made to perfections i really enjoy everything this chapter this chapter is beyond a 10 out of 10 this chapter i don't know what type of rating to give it but it broke the scale it simply broke the scale this chapter is the best chapter of the time skip and it, i'm not gonna say by far because the other chapters were good but this chapter is simply on a whole different level they really snapped with this chapter i, I really like can't say anything bad about this chapter let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let me know what you guys rate this chapter because to me it's a 10 out of 10 Boruto is back in the village so what will he do now i'm sure that shikamaru kawaki and everybody who is under the omnipotence will not trust Boruto. however he is back and he will tell them about the shinsu who are the new threats that they have to deal with and just with what that bug clone did to ida i am scared man this could lead to the destruction of the village but for the moment we are happy because we have been given another 10 out of 10 chapter if you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and i'm out bruh